what I'm so strongly opinionated about is you always may have to make sure that the project management, the strategy stays with the company. So let's say that you're going to do a blog. Well, who is ever the managing editor of that blog, who is ever running the ship should be on your staff, should be paid by you. And then everyone, everything else is negotiable. Do you have design expertise inside? Well, if you don't, fine, go ahead and outsource. Do you have all the editorial expertise you need? You, you can go ahead and outsource a lot of that. I know some of the best content creators in the world are freelancers and stringers. And a really good thing to do, especially if you're in the B2B market is, I always use, I still call it today, I call it fleecing the masthead. I said, so if you are in a certain industry and you are creating the same kind of content as a media company, go to that media company's masthead, used to be actually in a print publication. Now you have to go to the about us section online and figure out who their writers, who their editors are, who their um, ongoing contributors are, and see which content you like. Most of the time, at least half of them don't work for the publication. Especially you look at companies like Forbes, that's absolutely true. They're almost all competitors. So you go ahead and look at them, reach, reach out to them and say, hey, I have this project. Would you like to be on? So you don't have to go to a, a Fiverr or a text broker or something like that if you don't want to. So there's a lot of different options. And I would say whatever makes the most sense. If you have the expertise inside, great. If you don't, go ahead and outsource it. If you don't like to do this, a certain task, absolutely outsource it. If you like to do something and love to do something, keep it inside. So there's a, a lot of different options. Generally, if you look at a content marketing program, at least half of the overall resources are outsourced at some point. 